Yes, Mr. Um, the court, please, my lord. We continue with the evidence of uh, Colonel Sonipu. Uh, you are reminded that yesterday before the adjournment we were dealing with uh, exhibit N, N in bracket 1 that is the occurrence book from Silverton Police Station for the period 3 July 2020 to 10 July 2020 can you once again start at entry number 64 and put the, those entries on record? Thank you, my Lord. And uh, entry 64 is made on the 3rd of July 2020 at 0051. Entry read as follows. Suspect detained by Detective Sergeant Mukhani of National Cold Case Investigation Unit, Victoria, uh, with the following Musi, Setemba, Sabana, SAPS 14, 05, stroke 07, stroke 2020, SAP 14A, R139, 4878, charge possession of illegal ammunition, next of kin informed, and arrested at home with no injuries and complaints and correctly by the signature of Sergeant Mukhani. Lana ke kupaliwe kwa kunge ilanga lange i3 zila July 2020 uka mwile thano ke 0051 umsola uvalele na mautinwe u Detective Sergeant Mukhani we National Court Case Unity Ebritoria Ika mage umuzi September Sbia SAP 14-057-2020 Kanye SAP 14-A-139-4878 Au akboshe lwege uktola rala nyesba mungongeko Nama intla mungongeko MT20 Isitoko sakege Nama lawoge uwagubo ucheliwe Futige uma eboshwa uboshwe enga limede Futige ngeko na loko akala ngago was he assigned that the lapa yenage u sergeant and the next entry that's relevant for this prison and I'd like to mark the pages on page 2 and the next entry is written on Friday the 10th of July 2020 and the OB number is 310 no 309 Oh, sorry, yes, 310. 310. Uh, the time was 10 o'clock. Escort to court, Sergeant Mukhani. Escorted cell 05 stroke 07 stroke 2020, Musi, Tema, for illegal possession of ammunition to Visa. Uh, on uh, Visa, CAT 01. 06 2020 correctly received and it was signed by Sergeant Mukhani. Uh, Lana July 2020. Uh, is part of 10 uh, uh, Detective Sergeant Mukhani. Uh, 05 07 2020. Uh, September Sibia. So, in, 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 in short, according to the occurrence book, this detainee was at Silverton Police Station from the period 3 July 2020. 10 July 2020. That's correct. We'll get back to exhibit N and 1 in, in a while. If I can ask you to turn to exhibit NN in brackets 2, the cell register. Is there any corresponding 
entry in the cell register pertaining to this detainee? That's correct, my lord. Uh, on cell entry 5 of July 2020, a uh, person with the name of Moses Temba Zabana was booked in. He was detained at uh, Silverton Police Station on 2020 0753. The charge he was detained on was possession of illegal ammunition, then be sarcast 1001-06-2020. According to the cell register in column 14, he was released on 2020. Stroke 07, stroke 10, at 10 o'clock to the magistrate court. And if you can just maybe just clarify the time of uh, detention, you mentioned 22.51. No, it is 0051. Time of detention. It's in column 8. Right, there's another te time in column 5.2. What does that represent? Of that represents the time of the arrest that is given by the arresting officer. Is Katilana is by the way, you tell me, you are a Thank you. If we can then just get back to exhibit N, N in brackets 1. Now, yesterday you outlined the procedure that must be followed when there's a complaint of an injury by a detainee, and you've referred to the relevant uh, national instructions. I just want to refer you to page three of exhibit. NN1 Entry number 97 at 23 or 20 Or maybe if you can start right at the top Entry number 94 And this is just by way of an example what was the position regarding that entry? Uh, the entry was made, uh, it was a report that was made on the 3rd of July 2020 at 21.37. Uh, the entry reads as follows, report, Constable Sabaka report that one male suspect in the cells by the name of Joseph Nyanga SPS 14-2 stroke 7 stroke 2020 charge position of stolen property during cell inspection I noticed that he was he's vomiting I immediately contact emergency services on As he's complaining of neck pain. Yeah, he, he is complaining of neck pain, <coughs> and, and the emergency, uh, emergency reference number is one zero one seven one three. Consulted name Tandiwe. 
Lanage u lombigo abe nama lompago o lanage u sejensi swa abe nange nasponi luguti o magu lombigo abe nama umuntu ge enes kala suguti ge una yingi lana lana bu paliwege lazo itres ga chula 2020 ko 2137 niskaji umbigo uti ukonsable sibaka watazal nama washo ge uguti isposho eso ote so mbe sulisa umasel ika malasu u joseph nyanga sap 1402072020 Aboshelwege utolagala Ene impasa ge E njojiwe Ushiloge mkati Esema silini ukutige Yena loyoge uchozef Loyoge waye Kipa napezu nama waye vomitage Ngase nga leso skatige Sengbiza ge Abosizo nama gama emergency service Gena ge u112 Nanje ngoba Wayesho ugutige unama Unye intung na muna mapeni anawo La kye nage Mkale nama indanyeni Futige i reference number E101713 Na loyo mundu E kwa kulunya na yu kwa utangi Kwa bonswa nage nge suwane Kuti kwenzi wani umangaba umundu E kwa enye sika E na loyo akala gaba Yes, you can then read the entry At 23 or 20 In 97 It was the same evening at 23.20, report, Gustavo Sabata reported that a male... I made a follow-up. I, I made a follow-up on the ambulance requested uh, by, to, from emergency services at reference number 101713 and Mr. Sophie assured me telephonically that they... I received my call and that the ambulance is still on the way to the police station as requested. Lana ge, we are tazab, no mea kubega ge, usbaga, ebulo na ge, ebe founile, uguti wase elanda, lela ge futi u, uti mwaba lola awe ile nzile ge, maila ne ambulance uguti le awe ite lile, wase be mtaze la ge, ne reference number ewu 10713, wase ge umi sofi, Emnigez la gis plani sa ebo suguti Ebo shol logo ngol ten bo ge Uguti ge Uti ngol wake bal toni le nogo ti futi ge I ambles in sen tene le Eya kona e police stage Nanje ngoba a yin te li As you mentioned this is by way of example What does this illustrate? This illustrates that according to the national instruction If somebody in custody A person in custody Needs medical treatment the relief commander or the person in the cells must immediately act and contact the necessary emergency services to ensure that the person receives treatment. Loku oku kaza yo nanjo mako shiwa kukuti kusejen ziswa nanjo nge sponen. Kukuti ke loyo opete masel nama ke ikomanda o mako kukuti ukona ke umundu kula loba valebe o nyeskalo nama osho kukuti ke kukona ke la anga pecheka nga gase kona ke kukuti yiko na loku kufanele kwenzi kukuti enze ishtonisego kukuti ke uyal tola usizo loyo mundu loyo. Na kukonel sone pul you've been a station commander for some 32 years and you've also been a member of the police for about 41 years. Do you consider yourself sufficiently experienced on matters pertaining to occurrence books and cell phone, uh, I'm sorry, cell registers? Yes, uh, my lord, I do. I make it my job to ensure that all the national instructions that is issued is communicated to all the members at the station as well and to ensure that they also know the national instructions and instructions pertaining to detention management. Nanja mo mundu ge osa yi station commander uinyaga u 32 usema kwese ni ge uinyaga u 41 ungati ge uitata nanja mo mundu namu kwa nanja mo mundu owa ziyo dukuti ge inda ba yama ukarinti buku ee nwati lezi kisebe nda ganja yebo wa mifuti ge ukonsela uguti ge uma ukona ge ugu puma pezu lube wa baspete ge ama instructions uguti ge lauma instructions lau atola nama aziwa uye na wongke umundu osebe nda ganja kona lapo futi ge nuguti ge baya wa lande lela ge maila naba now you just place an entry and report as per exhibit NN1 on Friday the 3rd of July 2020 that this prisoner who was booked in by Sergeant Mohani was received with no injuries. That's correct. 
Yabam Shilo Gogan to the phone, which has eight years got July twenty twenty, a Sposha Beleso, a Sasa, the Chogiano Sasha Mohane, a Sasa Target, Sinadi May. And also when he he was booked out on the 10th of July 2020. That's correct. Now, now what he stands out of the Now, we have seen that this is a common entry in all the O'Connor's books that have been handed up. Exhibit MM. Which uh, occurrence, which is an occurrence book from just trying to get my list from uh, Victoria North Police Station. We've also seen that entry in exhibit M so the exhibit N N and exhibit N N is an extract of the occurrence book from Silverton Police Station uh, N N one that you've just placed on record. There's also exhibit N N is an extract of occurrence book Entry for accused number one from the following police stations Deep Cliff Police Station, which is dated the, 30, the entry is dated 30 May 2020. Also, the occurrence book from Villera Police Station, dated 31 May 2020 to 8 June. And also, exhibit PP. Exhibit PP is an occurrence book and cell register from Pokemon Police Station. And we've also seen that entry in Exhibit QQ and Exhibit QQ is an occurrence book entry from Primrose Police Station dated 20 June 2020 to 21 June 2020. We've also seen the same entry in Exhibit SS is an occurrence book from Pretoria Mort Police Station dated 22 to 24 June 2020 and we've seen the same entry in exhibit UU in brackets 2 which is an extract of entry from Fossilores Coastal Register now in your view Colonel Swanepoel what is the integrity of these entries in the occurrence book. Um, what is the reliability of such entries? What is the truthfulness of such entries? The entries is made by the members in the cells for the CSC. So every person that made that entry got a legal obligation to make the entry to the correct knowledge that he experienced at that specific time. Uh, Konge opali walan kupalo amalunga agenalo sa skatideso lapo emaserin uguti kenyal dunga nalinye ke uma umuntu epala u ku into ke import ala ogalogo mamtato refuti uguti upala agenalo kaziyo ano lasla honga sa skatideso. National Instruction 13 of 2019 gives the minimum requirements of such an entry that must be made by the police members. So all the entries at all the police stations in the Republic of South Africa will have the same entries because it's, uh, it's mentioned in a national instruction how that entry must be. 
e, futige kuzo zoge na makuwa na ongi ama police station eni mzima afrika kukana <coughs> jenaye umage kupalo la fena kufanele kupalo kwa mbake la ama instructions lao ayatazage ukuti kufanele kupalo na makupalo kanja uzo tola kukuti kuzo na zonge kelezo na dezo uzo palo wake indo eyoto na indo ke ifanana and what is the status of occurrence books and cell registers how are they classified uh, uh, SAPS uh, 10 the occurrence book SAPS 14 the cell uh, register is official document and must be kept according to the regulations on official documents let me have this as we can make it we will have the SAP the number of occurrence book SAP 14 can be put in the register and then we will have the SAP 10 kufanele ke igcinywe ke ngokwendlela ke umthetho ochaza noma osho ngayo ukuthi kufanele igcinywe ngayo Now is it possible that a police officer can cover up an injury of a detainee My lord I think it is possible that a cover up can happen but the police members can't in a period, a long period they can't cover it up and I'm saying that because there is every 12 hours there is new members on duty uh, every 12 hours the, the new members is looking after persons in the, in the cells so they visit the cells every hour and they must ensure that the prisoners is all available in the cell and they must ensure that the cell structure is still of a, a proper proper area that they, there will be no escapes and they must ensure that there is no injuries to any of the detainees Kungenze ka yenike ukuthi ke iphoyisa ke linga kodaka noma linga fihla ke ukulimala kwesiposh yebo lokho ke kungenze ka ke kodwa ke angeke kwenzeke isikhathi eside kwaba nje ngaso ngawo onke amafola nje ayishumi nambili noma ke noma awa awu 12 eh kuna mamemba amashadi noma malunga amashadi afikayo ahamba ayobheka isimo sala iboshwa ejinye khona ayobheka isimo sokuthi iboshwa ayilimele yini nokuthi futhi ke angeke kwenzeke yini ukuthi sanda ke isiboshwa noma iboshwa ngeqa lokho ke ngenzeka kodwa ngeke umuntu akwazi ukuthi angabi ke isikhathi eside and then if uh, if there's injuries the member will report it because he will be also he can also be held liable if he don't report such an injury and uh, with departments like the independent the, uh, police direct, uh, investigation director at ISPET uh, and overseeing oversight committees that visit the, visiting the police station the members don't cover up for each other Lanage ukwenza kayo ke futhi ukuthi ke uma ke isiboshwa ke ku ukuthi ke isiboshwa noma umuntu ke ulimele lokho kufanele ilunga noma imemba ke ikusho ichazwe ngoba uma ku ukuthi lokho aka aka ukhipha umbiko ngabo ke naye ke angasenkingenike ngoba ke kunale lokho kwizo ngokuthi ke IP de kuyibona abaphenya amaphoyisa kunama committee ahlala nje njalo eyovisa emajele eyobheka izimo izimo zasemajele manje ke lokho kusho ukuthi ke angekeke amaphoyisa ke abe wona ke esiya zakukhavelana noma aya afihle okwenzekayo in the entry that you just placed on record exhibit nn in brackets of 1 Entry with the serial number 64, you place on record that Sergeant Mohani signed next to that entry. But what is the purpose of Sergeant Mohani signing there? That to ensure that the entry that was made is the correct information that was received. So he confirmed that that is the correct information. Lana ke ku entry 64 lana ke umusa mukhane asayina khona ke uma esayina ke uyashi ukuthi lokho abhayileke lana ngempela ke kuyiqiniso futhi ke uyavumelana nako ingakho ke egcineni asiyasayina and we have seen that there is the same with all the entries that are just put on record regarding the the police stations and but what is the import of such entries by the detectives 
Uh, sorry. Uh, yes. Uh, you, you just explained what the purpose of, of the signature will be, be the same with all the other entries. That's correct. Now, one is in the other side of the one, but sign that that is that this is the end of the position. Now, you were at Silver, Silverton Police Station for a total of about seven years, where the police officers at Silverton known to you. Yes, my lord. Now, during cross-examination by Mr. Ngumizulu, he put it to the investigating team that a police officer by the name of Ngamani at, police, at Silverton Police Station assaulted um, accused number one. Do, did you have a member by that name at Silverton Police Station? In 2020 there was no such member and in the whole period that I was there from 2016 to 2023 there was no such member with that name at Silverton uh, Police Station. Sorry, yes, Mr. Gomez. I just want to correct my colleague. Uh, correct your colleague? Yes. Okay. Mr. Okay. Okay. Uh, the name Namane was amongst the names of people that assaulted accused number one. He is not, or he was not, a police officer stationed at Silverton. I've never put it as yeah, okay. a member that. So Namane is not a police officer? No, no. Stationed at Silverton during the assault. Where was he stationed then? Because this is how Mr. Baloi says the question was posed. At Silverton. So if he wasn't stationed there, fine, no problem. Because this video just says there was no person with the name of Namani at Silverton where your client was allegedly assaulted. My instruction is that Namani was from intelligence. Was that? Intelligence office. He was working with Mapen. Correct? The late Mapen. Sorry, Mr. Baloi, was the assertion that uh, the gentleman, Mr. Naman, no, no, the accused number one, number one, as you say, was assaulted at Silverton? Well, my lord, that was the import of the um, proposition that was put to, I think, was Sergeant uh, Mukhola. Yeah. And that was after reference was made to the entry at the Tembisa court appearance on the 10th of July. Mm. And accused number one then, uh, via his legal representative, put it on record that he was being assaulted by police officers at Silverton. Okay, fine. And the name then came up in that context. Okay, fine. Now, my lord. Uh, I beg you. Then, if I, you are saying that uh, Namani works, according to your client, for intelligence? Yes. Okay, and my lord, may I just <coughs> correct the assertion that was put by accused number one in, in terms of the version put on such an uh -huh. He said the police officers or the members at Silverton did not assault him. They, when he informed the court in Tembisa, never re made reference to the police officers of Silverton. He said the police were assaulting him. That's why he requested to be uh, detained in prison. Oh, these are just members of the police force. Yes. They That's randomly right. assaulted him. Yes. Okay, fine. Because on the record in the church it appears SADP. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, yeah. uh,
is to confirm same that uh, the police officers of Silver Team did not assault a case number. That's what I want to do. It might perhaps be necessary to revis revisit Exhibit OO. This is the chart sheet of the proceedings in Tembisa Court. Exhibit OO. Yes, Exhibit OO hmm. on the 10th of July 2020. Mm -hmm. The following is noted The accused being assaulted by SAPD Silverton. Uh, the 10th of July 2020. Uh, uh, yes, and that is when the request was yeah, made that he be transferred to Morabi. Okay, fine. <coughs> Sorry, is that a type record? The, 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 this is the um, inscription there. It's what? Yeah, the, this is by just, hand. Yeah, a, a hand written copy of the of the chart sheet. Okay, fine, no problem. Thanks. As you could please my note, these are all the aspects, perhaps just one aspect. You have mentioned um, the role played by the IPID. Now, as far as injuries are concerned of a detainee, well, what role do they play? As soon as a, a detainee is injured, and he alleged that he is assaulted. He's got a right to open a criminal docket, mm -hmm. and that criminal docket will be then invest, uh, be transferred to IPID. They must be informed within 24 hours, uh, over within 12 hours, to ensure that um, they take over the investigation of oh, that specific case. Thank you, my lord. This are the other yes. aspect we wanted to take up. Okay, thank you, Mr. Gomez. Ms. Wong? Thank you. Morning, Mr. Sonic. Good morning. So, it's your evidence that you were a, you were a latent Kenyan in 1992. Is that correct? No, a lieutenant. Lieutenant. No, just okay. lieutenant. lieutenant. The rank was lieutenant in that time. 1992. Yeah, that, that rank in, in the meantime, that rank falls away. Uh, when I did So you were promoted in 2016 as a Kenneth. That's correct. Was in 2016, I so, in terms of the procedures that you are putting on record before this honorable court, 
you were guided by the national instruction and the standing orders. That's correct, All right. In terms of uh, you gave evidence in relation to the how the OB is how the events are recorded in the OB and the SAP 14s. SAP 14 capital letter A, the rights of the of the suspect. So, firstly, before I get into, uh, <coughs> does the national instruction also prescribes the formalities of the procedure to be followed by members when they are taking a confession? There is also a national instruction pertaining uh, to a confession, but it's mostly covered in the Criminal Procedure Act. Yes, I understand there is a provision regarding or governing the, the requirements for taking a confession in terms of section 217 of the criminal act. But precisely on the national policy or instructions that guides members when they are taking a confession, do we have such a prescribed uh, format or procedure? My Lord, uh, unfortunately I can't answer that. I'm not 100% mm -hmm. sure of that specific national instruction. But as I said in the beginning, there is instructions for every, per, uh, every part of our job in but you can give an opinion as an officer who has an experience of 41 years in relation to the procedure or procedure of taking a confession. My Lord, uh, again, in the 41 years, I've never been in a position to take down a confession. So I must uh, say to the court that I can't answer that specifically because I didn't do any confession in my 41 years. So, <coughs> the question that <coughs> as a person who is competent or <coughs> by law that you can if asked to take a confession do you know what Mr. Mugomizi referred to the to the witness we all know that if he's a commissioned officer yes. he's got to be a justice of the peace Correct. Yeah, that's the law, please. Let's not quote. No, no, I'm getting, I'm not getting there. No, no, I'm just this. saying, he says in his 40, 41 years, yes. he's never taken a confession. By extension of logic, only commissioned officers who are justices of the peace in the police force take confessions. That's correct. Man. You were quoting the law the other day, Justice of the Peace Act, blah, 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 blah. Yes. That's it. As a commissioned officer, if you can be assisted to take a confession, what is the first step that you can do? I will firstly look at the uh, Criminal Procedure Act to ensure that I do it in the correct way, as, if, as well as national instructions that's available on the intranet of the South African Police Service. And I will make sure that before I take the uh, confession, I adhere to all the regulations and the instructions in that specific 
documentation <coughs> My Lord, I beg leave to ask the witness to to take the witness to exhibit SS. Exhibit SS. That's correct. Okay. Starting from reference number or entry number one six six one. The date is the 22nd of June 2020. Do you see that? Uh, I, I see. Can you please get entry on record? And the entry was made on the 22nd of June 2020, on a Monday. The reference number, uh, the serial number is 1661. The time is 1500 hours. And the entry reads as follows. Prisoner received Sergeant Bukhani from National Cold Case Unit of Pretoria handed one mail, Bongani, Sandisu, Mdanzi. It looks like police station's name, Cash 118 of 62020, position of unlicensed ammunition. Lana, get up, Ali, you're going to so that June 2020, come on some Google. It's the entry the number 1661, it's 33. Eh? Uh, Ukpalu Wege Lana, Ukutige, is Poshwage, is Atola Dada, eh? Sergeant Mohane, the National Court Case Unit, a Pretoria, eh? Mlisa Oyeto, Ubonga, Sandy, so Danzi. Eh? It has 1180622020. <coughs> then it follows on the next page with the SPS 40 number 108 stroke 06 stroke 2020 SP 14 A S 0 9 4 7 2 8 4 Mungani without any visible injuries he can Confirmed. Uh, SAP 14 108 2020, SAP 14 AS if you go down or you want to go on all the entries that are that relates to Bongan Dance on the 22nd. Cell 5, one male, 
cell 8, 1 female, cell 2, 2 males. All cell doors locked, all in order, no complaints or injuries. Is Katiko Babu for your Pegwagi Amasel, Father Cell visits Onagi Amasel of Tilawiana Warren Officer Mukari, Kanyanayo Constable Suhole, a Gussel Tetin Papalo Gutiaba Lisaba Bivi, a Gussel Eight, a West Mamma Oyetwa, a Futiga Guti Zonki Kapa, and my uncle Minyan Yamasel, Ikiwe, Kanya Futiga Gonke Kukashe, a Guko E. Kalo E. Kona, Noma Uglimala. On that OP, uh, <coughs> from where you started reading on entry 116 up to the next date that appears on that OP, will I be correct that is the 24th of June? My Lord, in between the 22nd and the 24th, there were cell visits done, as well as station visits with, um, by Lieutenant Colonel Supin, where the cells was also visited. If the in general practice, if an attorney goes to consult with the client in the, in the police station, is it prescribed that it must be recorded on the occurrence book that the attorney came to visit or to consult with a particular suspect? No, my lord, it is not uh, mentioned in the current mm. rule. There's a separate register mm. uh, that's kept at the police station for visits to detainees. Mm. A non official register. Mago, would you get Umeli Uyez, a police station, who's all for part of the mother, who's all for Salsa again, the client, the Akege, a father, the local land, who is not the reason who came, or current school. Conagenja, any Matigala, a father for Nagay, I'm a business. On the SAP. <coughs> Fourteen. Is there any column where you record the visitation by a legal practitioner? Now, SAP fourteen. Are you going to go to the corner? Go to the Uma Umeli Ezo or Pangmezo Kumisana. Now, are you a man? So, are you not in position? Oh, sorry. You were not. Uh, can that document be made available? The one where you register the non. You said to the non officials, if I'm not this, where an attorney visits with the purpose of consulting the client. It is kept in a record uh, storeroom, so uh, I think it can be made available. So when it comes to the, the transportation of a, a suspect by a member, and a member, the vehicle that a member is using, during the transportation of the suspect has a breakdown, mechanical breakdown. What is the procedure usually if a member encounters such a problem? If a member encounters a problem of a breakdown, the first step that must be taken is to secure the suspect or the detainee to ensure that the detainee don't escape or don't uh, get injured. And then, as then, uh, the member must take any necessary step to get alternative transport to continue with the transportation of the detainee. Oh, my God, good to get to Ham, to Ham, just to spoil Shola Nage, and my God, over the new way. Better good to get a police and the other in King and then Motor Lay, Ham Bangayo. Over Father, I get funded the ones you were, who went as Prince Sego, so good to get 
Is Porsche and so again as the matter, no matter forty gay who were maggot, who would get there for the maggot's father gay is Porsche. Let's always be legal, best of what you do you, no matter if poison a little, have the side is Porsche, then they get to say, so good to get magic. Who said for that any no more is the easy in the other, so good to get a cubeg or no ham, but I'm not a toleny, more you would have cubeg go ham. In such a, a, a situation, can a member experience, experiencing such a problem? Can a member or any other people who get or who, 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 who attended to the same area can they use another, the services of another mechanic other than the mechanic of the government? According to the, the South African Police Service. Uh, we must use uh, mechanics that link to the South African Police Service to repair vehicles. All the vehicle must be outsourced in terms of the German procedure. If the need arises for uh, emergency repairs uh, and it's not a huge repair and the member can make use of a free service that can assist him repair. I can take an example, my lord, if a battery is down and somebody must jump start the vehicle or there's something small fault with the vehicle, then uh, somebody can assist him. But, but in, in, in the case where a motor vehicle is overheating or there's something from the engine, it's not a, a minor problem in that one. It is it must be attended by the mechanic of the government. Yes, if a vehicle is towed to a, a government garage, uh, it must be dealt with the procurement process from that process onto the government garage. Tell me, what is the maximum time? for keeping a, a suspect in the police cells when he is arrested? If a person is arrested, he must appear before a, a, a magistrate court within 48 hours. Or he must rele be released out of custody uh, by uh, SAP S328, that is when he's not linked to the charge. And depending on the crime being committed, he can be released by the SAPS on bail or he can be released by the SAPS on bail or either on warning. If a person is arrested on a docket of murder from Nongom, Kwazulu Natal, and is detained in Pretoria um, Mort under case number 163, 10 of 2018. That person, in terms of the national instructions, must he be taken to the place where that docket comes from, like Guanongo? If the, the rule is he must appear at a magistrate court before uh, 48 hours. Yes. If the time allows the person to be taken to that police station within that 48, uh, 48 hour period, 
it can be done, but it must appear in a in the uh, magistrate court before 48 hours expire. So if the person is arrested at Victoria Moet and uh, the case is in a different province and there's no time to take him immediately to that province or they come collect him, uh, then he must first appear at Victoria Magistrate Court. They will postpone the case to that magistrate court in a different province and then that person must appear on the date the case has been postponed to. In a situation where the suspect has been taken, has been booked in, booked in, in Pretoria mode, under the same case number, under the same charge, is now taken to Force Lawrence. Is it the correct process? Is now taken to a, a first lawyer's court instead of Nongoma court. Is it the correct procedure? As a good person, I think it's not fair to ask that question, not in the right context. I think there was also another case docket, the first lawyer's case docket, for this witness to express an opinion. I think a complete picture needs to be painted. The first lawyer's docket must also be included. Yes, and they, they didn't enroll it. It has not enrolled. There were actually two dockets. So, <coughs> up to now, my Lord, the, the 534 has never been placed on record and it has never been brought to this honorable court. No, no, fine. Yes. But the panel here knows the law. Like I remarked, that uh, when that prosecutor in Tendisa or whatever refused to enroll that matter, saying he doesn't have jurisdiction, yes. They didn't know the law. He just explained to you. You think for the eight hours? He was arrested on a case which originates from Nongo. And then, when it's about to expire that 48 hours, because we've got the docket and we've issued, we call it a J50, we take the person to the nearest court, this is tutorial, right, or Joburg or whatever, for purposes of transferring the person to the proper jurisdiction. It's done every day. Drug dealers, Cape Town, they sell drugs or whatever, they are accused. And then they come from Jobek, they are arrested in Jobek, they transfer them. It happens every day. And the Kennel knows the law. Yes, uh, Kennel Sonepo, the apparently the, the matter referred to was not placed on the road. And there was another allegation that accused number two was arrested or was charged with docket 534 for possession of drugs in forced orders. And both matters were not placed on the road. By law, that person was supposed to be released. Is that correct? I'm not sure of the details of the case, my lord, so I, yeah. I don't know if I must answer this, otherwise I will... No, you're not involved in that matter. So Defer to, to the witness, Mr. Ngomeli. Defer the 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 to the witness. Give him, give him the whole shaput sh of the, the contents of the docket. Now you are selecting mm. snippets. My lord, uh, no, no. indicated that... The court must... I read that thing, that case, Seda Ramadel. They say I mustn't allow this type of cross examination. But now, in the event, I just want to know if mm. the matter is not placed on the road. Let's just put it in the, in the general terms. The matter is not placed on the road after 48 hours. The suspect is supposed to be released. 
Is that so? If the court deal with it, we hang the suspect at the court and the prosecutor of that specific court deal with the detainee. Yes. Ito alatin na si Sosa na inkantolo. Umushushi siga kung leon kantolo na yung ge osezo ko na naman jige uguti ge yini ge ezo wenzo na naman ezo wenzo wal kanin inkantolo. Can you keep the suspect after the matter matter was not placed on the roll? Can you still keep the person in detention pending further investigations on dockets that were not the arrest the accused was not arrested on? It is not. If he appears in court, the court will decide what they are doing with that detainee, and uh, the police can only re-arrest the person uh, on another case or other e- evidence if the court releases that person. In Kanto, there is a tradition of mo. We are pushing to make sure that the people are not being held in a big way. No matter how much we push, the matter is in Kanto. We are not going to do much. It is more about the matter in Kanto. We are going to make sure that the people are not So, in terms of the national instructions, is there any specific definition of torture? In terms of yes, there is a national instruction on torture. Unfortunately, I don't have it here, but there is a specific definition uh, on torture. Uh, I can, if you give me a moment, I can give you the national instructions that deals with torture in this Africa. <coughs> In, uh, for persons in custody of the South African Police Service. But if I may ask, if you keep a suspect in a solitary confinement, is that not torture in terms of a definition by the national instructions? My Lord, uh, the South African Police Service cells haven't got solitary confinement. You don't have that facilities at the police station. Uh, it's only detention facilities that contains of the cell itself, uh, where there is water, running water and toilet facilities, as well as the exercise area where there's also a shower and toilet facilities as well as uh, running water. In Abege, umuntu uma umte nage nama la asheti konage yo yeto inga sani nage nama inga ba aksiona yini intere leyoke egum egum zisaje uklum nama ge itocha ha tina ge ema poise nige asna zoge lezo la umuntu aksi nako nage e yeto ama se esna wo futi ge anamanzi ahamba yo kona lako ganyo futi ge nenda wo lako nage umuntu awa zige kona uguti ayo lolonga kona May not request the short achievement Yeah, what's the time, sir? Twenty-five past eleven. Twenty, twenty, twenty-four minutes past eleven. What time do we come back? Fifteen minutes. The normal short is fifteen minutes. Let's come to the two, twelve. Mm-hmm. Yes, Mister Mugabe. Thank you, Mister. Uh, <coughs> can I? There's a question that I'm going to. Withdraw that the last question that I asked relating to the solitary confinement. But the question that I want to put across to you is that <coughs> if you deprive a suspect enough sleep, it's torture. What do you say? 
<laughs> torture is defined by the Act pertaining to the Prevention of Torture. I think it's Act 13 of 23, uh, 2003. Uh, the, the torture is defined in that Act. I'm not sure of the definition 100%, but uh, torture is defined in that Act as well as our national search. So it's taking off? I think it's 13 of 2003. Okay. In the lag, you pata umutu and the lag, which is about two more of wisdom of which you get the leg of Toshara Umutu, where Ukonag Umte, so Patrin and Logo, Salam Putin, or Act 13, that 2003. You would get Kazaranja Nigi and that's what I get Ukonag Umte, or Umbuzo get Ubuti, and the Eti Umisha Mundu Ugla Lambo, one name, then Mamma is Katas and Nedo, or Toshara Logo, and Sapenda, what you can't have of your own chat of voice. So you are not proffering an opinion. Sorry, we are not venturing to proffer an opinion. No, no my lord, I don't have the, the expertise. Uh, definition before we okay. 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 Which relates to the day, the entry of the 22nd. The 22nd. If you peruse that, that document up to the 24th of June, from where I've asked the 22nd of June 2020, uh, ref entry number 1661, from there, if you peruse this, that exhibit up to the 24th. Can you peruse it up to the 24th of June? Not the entire reports of the 24th, from the 22nd to the 24th, from where the 24th is indicated. Or to rephrase it, do you see any entries or any records of the 23rd of June 2020, in between the 22nd and the 24th? This, uh, my lord, this is the occurrence book. So everything that happened at the police station is mentioned here. So on the 23rd, there was cell visits, there was firearms handed in and out for the police members that's on duty. The handing over was done here. The uh, duty on duty off parade was mentioned here. <coughs> uh, hand radios was booked out, the cells was visited. New people was arrested. Escort duties was done. Um, and the firearms were booked out. So there's a, a, a quite a exhibit was handed in. So there's quite a few entries from the 22nd until the 24th. Okay. Okay. Precisely on the 23rd, is there any entry relating to Bongani Dance? Whether it was booked in or booked out? On the 23rd of June.
My Lord, I can't find anything like that. Okay. Day 23, I'm going to get up a little bit and I'm going to get up a little bit and I'm going to get up a little bit and I'm going to get up a little bit. Did you manage to get the document that you said you can get it from the Torah mode? My Lord, I think I took it for Loi and I ensured somebody to go and collect it when I'm investigating one of the investigating officers. Okay. Yes, Mr. Thank you, my lord. Uh, okay. I have no further questions. Okay, yes, Mr. Mnisi. Thank you, Mr. Mnisi. Thank you, my lord. I have no questions to this witness. Thank, thank you. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma 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 I have no questions. Thank you. Yeah, I have clarification question. You mentioned you, me, you mentioned that there are visitation committees, committees which come and visit your police station. Yes. It's a committee of about how many people? My Lord, it all depends hmm. uh, which committee. Yeah. Is, uh, for, for example, the Parliamentary Committee on Policing. That's it. Uh, coming to police stations to visit the police station. Yes, yes, yes. And it differs from place to place. Sometimes yeah. there's five people or bigger group of people. Right. And they visit the cells as well. I'm right. a committee again, Kuluman. I'll get to get by yourself. I'm a visitor. I'm a police station in my cell. And Kuluman, I'm a committee again. I said, Parliament, I'm camping a committee about five. No matter how big a person, no matter how fast or low. Do they have access to prisoners or detainees? Yes. Yeah, yeah. like judges. Just to make an example, we have judges who are in a committee, and then they visit uh, a prison, certain prison. And then you are given the freedom to speak to the detainees or the accused persons to find out whatever, whatever. So it's the same thing. They have freedom to speak to the detainees, etc. And then you say there are cell visits, yes. 12 hourly cell visits. It is hourly, hourly cell visits. Hourly cell, cell visits. visits, yes. yes. And every 12 hours there's new people coming on the Yeah. Day. So in other words, every hour there's a, a police person or cell police. Two, how many is it? Two, 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 two. Yes. Every day, every hour. Every hour at night as well. That's it. Put it again. If you are a foreign general, don't try to put it in my police car. No, my police car. If you are your corner, I call you up. I get my cell. Best put it in my car. I get out. Twelve four. Get the action track on. I get a band of a seven zero. Who is the bag? No, my girl. I'm going to put it in. But the parliament, the buyer zag. Who charge us seven? Zag is one of the good. Now, best put it in my book. Ba kona kona ge komiti la majaj abaha ma ba yo pega ge ba yo pegi zimo emajele uguti ge abantu ba tisi zilanja nige nama i boshwa uti la boge ba ya wazi uguti ba kwa kwa kulo misa ni nabo ya kuma uguti na ba se parliament ni nabo ge benza la jalo la ba kona uguti ba kulo misa ni nai boshwa bela lela i kalo zabo nabo uguti ge ba tisi zilanja ni emajele nama ima police station now this inspection police not police cell visits by Police. Don't they speak to the prisoners to ask them any complaints, any sickness, any problem, and then you annotate that in a register? That's correct, my lord. Uh, as soon as you visit the cells, you uh, mm -hmm. firstly check if everybody is uh, uh, in the cells. That's it. To that, you check the cell, uh, cell complex itself right. and then you ask the people if there's any complaints right. and then you uh, manage it in the uh, is it the esteemed occurrence? Right. Yeah, for instance, if uh, a guy like me, I say, hey, you know, I'm suffering from flu. What happens when I make that report to one of the visits? Visit? Uh, if, it, if there is uh, urgent medical attention needed, mm. we must call the necessary uh, ambulances. 
but we can also send the person to be checked by a medical practitioner mm. if there's uh, medical attention he, he or she needs. Uma ugu tige isimo esputu mayo kesizo biza ge nama ge biza labo bime ambulance ba abeo sizo ugu tibe zege nama gube ugu tige umuntu sizo mahamzali nama ahamu utayo bwana utogote Have you ever heard in your experience have you ever heard of a detainee or a suspect or an accused person complaining to any of these committees which come to find out the the status of the prisoners, whether they have been went, well, well handled, assaulted, tortured or what, where a prisoner once said, you know what, I was tortured yesterday, I was assaulted, I was done this. Have you ever had that experience? Yes, usually with the, uh, with the visit we don't go with them, but we get a report of Yeah, we get a report. And in that report there was cases, in yes. instances where people were uh, complaining to committees and even to the police members that visit the cells. Yes. And they complain to the police members and they make the necessary things. Yes. And just to Adam break the point, these police who come two, 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 two for twelve hours. They may come from Social Hoover Police Station, Orange Grove Police Station, as if police only situated in one police station. Is the, the visit to the cells yeah. Lord is from the, that specific police station. Yeah. So uh, the members uh, placed at that police station is visiting the cells as well. You don't have visits by other police, no, nearby uh, police. It only happens when the duty officer, uh, the district duty officer, comes to visit. He also visits the cells and he talks to the detainees. Right. And he's from other units. And he, also, what? Sorry? And he, he also writes a report. Uh, yes, uh, he also write an OBNP and he make a report. That's it. That it. Yeah, but the OBNP 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 the you are obliged to read all those reports as, as the police station commander. That's correct. Right. And if you find that, for instance, there was torture, assault, or a prisoner wanted to have a tooth extracted and he was not given attention to say he was going to the dentist, do you? for any remedial action? Yes, according to our disciplinary regulations, mm. we must take actions against the members that don't comply with the instructions. Yeah. Okay, any questions arising? Nothing from the state, sir. Mr. Mwizolu? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. No questions, my lord. Thank you. No Mr. Mason, have you asked these questions before? Okay, I, that, I, I don't know. Uh, do you say you want this gentleman to bring a book and he must come back again? Mm-hmm. It's, an, it's an entry that has been made at Pretoria Mod and it's not stationed there. It's a document that will be coming from. Oh, okay, course. fine, okay, okay, fine. So he doesn't have to come. I don't think so. Because the entry by a common cause, if it is there, your learned colleague can say, I see it. And by section 220, we can agree that this is what was written down. Is yes. that not so? Yes. That's correct. Indeed, my lord, if it's, if it's agreed, we can do it that way. Okay. Are the other councils happy with it? We if the same before. Yes. yes. 220. Okay. Bye, thank you. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. You're excused. Thanks, Mr.
Manot, we just want to hand up the updated list of. Uh, you haven't given me some of the documents which you referred to, like the records of the typescript which you got on Monday. Remember? I don't have it. We will we'll, we'll arrange that. Okay, fine. All right. Um, what's new here um, just the exhibits that we've just dealt with hmm. um, at number 70 70. 77 it's exhibit um, N1 and N2 ok yeah, N1 and N2, N2 yeah. yes. Okay. Then also number 89, exhibit ZZ, the statement of Brigadier Gininda, dated 23 October 2020. Hmm. Okay. Uh, line up only this witness for, for, for today. There's only one witness that will be testifying tomorrow. Um, and it's, a, it's a dentist. Um, we've already made arrangements with him for tomorrow, my lord. Um, and that will be the last witness for the state in the trial within a trial. Okay. We we'll then request that we adjourn until until tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Okay.